Kind of, you're making too many mistakes. I know. I'm working on it. Okay, everybody. Hey, thank you for tuning in this week's One Minute Real Estate News You Can Use. Uh, normally, the studio will be the background. This is the first time I'm actually using it. Next time, I'll probably just straighten out a little more, but it's okay. Next time. I'm sitting down. I want you guys to sit down, too, because let's get down to some brass tacks. Meaning of the English idiom, get down to brass tacks. To get down to brass tacks means to start discussing the most important and crucial aspects or facts of a problem or situation. To skip over pleasantries and unimportant details or theories and get right to the heart of the matter. Get right to the heart of the matter and get down to the nitty gritty are both synonyms of this idiom. <laughs> okay, so now that we got that out of the way, okay, here's what's going on. I'm sitting down because I'm going to explain this to you in detail. I want you to sit down so that we were comfortable. It's a crazy market. The last two and a half months, three months, we've been actually, we still have low inventory. Uh, homes are still getting multiple offers on them and they go pending within a day or two. I had a listing last month, it was. I had my listing, I put it on the MLS on Sunday morning. It went pending Sunday afternoon, $15,000 over asking price. Other agents I know, same thing with their listings. They'll list them two or three days, 30, 40, 50,000 over asking price. So the first chart here says the percentage of proper, the, one more time in English, the percentage, the percentage of percentage Perspective buyers planning to buy a home in the next 12 months is skyrocketing since COVID-19. Now this is a very interesting chart. I want you guys to look at this carefully. So what's interesting is that buyer demand was actually coming down, even though even though there was an inventory shortage and it was still it was a seller's market. So buyers could still buy, but there, even though were, even though the demand was coming down, it still the buyers still outweighed the demand for the for the sellers because there was still not enough houses for these buyers to buy. So even though buyers inventory was shrinking, there was still enough buyers to make multiple offers on, on these on these homes out there that were that were listed for sale. So that's how that works. Now in 2020 uh, it peaked down to the to the lowest as you can see there because we had COVID. And what's amazing is you know but after COVID, a lot of people still couldn't afford jobs, unfortunately, because you know some people lost their jobs and some and some renters were having problems renting. But again, the the buyers that were in, in in a financial position to actually purchase homes, they were still looking for homes, and the, all of a sudden they came up. And 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 but still, with even though even though the uh, the buyer demand is not coming up, we're still short on the inventory. In fact, here's the next chart right here. This is what they call the seller traffic. Okay, and I don't know if you can see the colors there. Well, you see the colors, but I don't know if you can see the, the legends. The legends is kind of small. It simply says the dark gray areas, and the, these, these are all nationwide statistics, the dark gray areas are actually um, uh, where it's very weak demand. The beige areas are just just better, but it's still, it's still weak. The light blue areas is where we are in California. It's stable, okay? And then you have the dark blue areas where the where the seller traffic is extremely strong. You got Washington, New Mexico, I think I believe that's West Virginia, and Wyoming. Wyoming, what's the population there? Like 15? It looks like even the cows are buying houses. But anyway, so yeah. <laughs> so that's that's the situation with the actual traffic. So you can see the, the strength throughout the nation. Let's take a look at the next chart. This is the new monthly listing count here. You got in the thousands, 278, 288, 344. Uh, every month, you can see the listings are getting more and more. So like I said, now we're getting more inventory on the market, which is really good, by the way. By the way, this is good for sellers and buyers. I'm going to explain that to you more, more in depth in a minute. But keep that in mind. There are more listings coming on the market nationwide. It says here it was 540,000 listings that was put on uh, as, as, of, as of last month. The mortgage rates, look at this next chart. Now, with that said, Buyer demand is still strong because of this. You can see with historical lows at one time, I can't see that small. I'm sorry, my glasses aren't strong enough, but most folks remember, you know, we did a historical low. It started inching up until recently, but now we're back down to almost coming back to where the 2.7, not quite where we were before, but still very good rates. Okay, I get it. A lot of charts, a lot of graphs. You're probably saying that's great. Um, so this is all Greek to me. Why do I care? Okay. I know I, I digress a lot, but this is why you should care. What I'm telling you is that the whole bulk of this video is right here. This is this is the bulk of the video. There's a lot of inventory coming to the market. In fact, there's a plethora of inventory coming to the market. I know I put it up there on the screen just so you know. There's a plethora of inventory. A lot is actually coming. How much? This is what I did. While this video was actually playing, I asked myself the same thing. It's like, okay, let me just see how much is there. Because I know I can, there's a shift. We can, all, all agents in the industry here, we can feel there's a difference. So I went over to the system and I put in, show me all the homes. I live in Vallejo. So I just, just to keep it simple, I just did my area. What's in Vallejo? Show me all of these things that came on the market from January 1st to today, which is August 12th. 
and it showed me 700, you can see by these little clippets here, I, I put up here for you. Um, it, it came up with 749 residential units and 137 condos in Vallejo alone, okay? That's 886 homes. So then I said, okay, now show me what came on the market from July 1st to, to today, today's the 12th, so that's about, that's about six weeks, okay? And it shows me here, it showed me 373 homes and 59 condos for a total of 432 homes. So I wanted that month, I did some math anyway, I figured it out that it actually from the beginning of the year, from January 1st to July 1st, we had 454 homes that came on the market here in Vallejo. From July 1st to now, we had 432 homes that came on the market, okay? So in just one month, it took we have more, almost as many listings as we did in the past six months altogether. That's how much inventory is coming on the market, okay? So what does this, so the whole point, what does this mean, okay? Here's the answer. If you're, what does it mean if you're a buyer? What does it mean if you're a seller? Let's start with the buyers first. If you're a buyer, it would behoove you, okay? And there's another fancy word, I put up, you have to Google it, I did it for you, okay? It would behoove you to start looking for a home right now, very seriously. Step one, get pre-approved. Call your lender, if you have a lender, I have a referral for you, call, call a lender, get pre-approved for, for looking for a home. Then call your agent, because here's the reason. As I said, there's a lot of homes coming in right now, and I have a couple buyers myself. As we're looking, I noticed that we're actually looking at not just one or two homes, coming back real quick, trying to make an offer. Now, we can actually look at three homes, four homes, maybe even five homes and pick one or two and make an offer. Does that mean you can make a low ball offer? No, it doesn't. Does that mean you can actually offer, uh, you know, maybe less, a little bit less than what they're asking? Of course not. What I would do, just give them their asking price, maybe a little more if you, if you, if you if really like the house. Have your agent, you know, work out the details, have them negotiate. Now again, it all depends on the area. I'm just, you know, I'm talking about Vallejo. It might, of course, in different areas, it may be a little bit of different situation, different principles. But the bottom line is the entire Bay Area, I'm starting to see more homes come on the market. So that's great if you're a buyer, because now, you got less competition, okay? But there's still a little bit, but you, at least you have some options. You can, in other words, you can breathe a little bit and look at some homes and then make it off. So what if you're a seller? If you're a seller, I know the agent's gonna look at this, man, dude, you're killing my business. I'm not killing, I'm, I'm just telling, this is my own personal, uh, professional opinion, okay? If you're thinking about selling your home, what I would do, I'd hold off. I'd hold off until maybe next month, the, mid, the beginning or the middle of the next month. Here's the reason why. So, first of all, some kids are still out of school. My kid's actually, Sebastian, wave. Can you wave? Well, I don't know if you can see him. He's back here. I got my kid back here. School started, I think, on Monday uh, for other kids. So the parents are all scrambling with getting their kids in school and this and that. College, I think, started as well uh, not too long ago. And vacations. Vacations, this whole COVID thing has been lifted a bit. People are running a little bit late and they want to squeeze in a vacation before you know they, they, they're going out. So as a seller, you, you know, the buyers are still out here, okay, which is great. You got some buyers looking, like I just said, people are looking, but you also have more inventory in the market. Remember I just told you, you have more inventory coming in the market. And so now you got, you know, your home competing with other homes. And it's almost an, an, an I don't know, it's, it's evil, an evil, not evil, an even. It's almost an even market now to where it's almost, you know, not quite near to, to where we have enough more buyers and sellers. It's definitely not a sell, it's definitely not a buyer's market yet. It's still a seller's market, but it's starting to level off. I just said, we, in the industry here, we're all starting to feel that it's just a little bit of a different, we call it a shift. So now we have to go with it. So if you're buying, start looking. If you're selling, hold off. That's just my professional opinion. It's getting a little choppy, I apologize. My light went out, then my camera died. I replaced my camera with a video camera. It went from SIM card to disc, if some of you guys remember what that is. But at least the quality might be a little bit better now. I'm looking at a five o'clock shadow, because it's, or maybe like a nine o'clock shadow, because like four days later. It's a little rough. It's my first YouTube channel or my YouTube video, so I'll clean it up later. But thanks for watching.